What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in order to list angles of a triangle from smallest to largest, you just have to look at which angle opens up to which side, okay? So, for instance, here we have angle M, right? It's like a little mouth, right? Now, if you extend this part of the mouth, you can see that it's basically going to try and eat this side of the triangle, right? This short little side, which is 2.7, okay? So, that means angle M opens up to 2.7, which we can see is the shortest side. So, angle M would be the smallest angle. Next, we can see we have 4.3 over here, and that's from angle L, right? So angle L, right, this mouth over here opens up to this side, 4.3. So then the next, or the medium angle, would be angle L, okay? And then the last one would just be this angle K, right? So you can see that angle K opens up to the biggest side, which is 5.8, so angle K. All right, here's the next one. So you can see it's a right triangle, right? We have our little symbol right here. And the thing about a right triangle is that it has a hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse would be opposite of the little right angle symbol, right? So this is the hypotenuse right here, and we know that that's always gonna be the longest side. So as you can see, angle J is opening up to the hypotenuse. So we know that angle J is the biggest angle, right? Now to sort out these other two, so G and H, uh, well, you can see that G over here opens up to the smallest side, which is 4. So angle G would be the smallest. And then angle H up here, you can see, opens up to this bottom side, which is 6. So angle H is in the middle. Boom. All right, here's the last one, and it's a little bit different. So it doesn't give us exact lengths. It just tells us that this side over here is X, and then this kind of longer side over here is 3x, so we can basically see that this longer side is three times as long as this shorter side, right? And it also gives us this single angle of 105 degrees, all right? So this is obviously bigger than 90 degrees, so we know this is an obtuse triangle, and the obtuse angle is always going to open up to the longest side, right? So this angle E right here is opening up to this, the longest side over here. Okay, so angle E is the longest side here. And how do we sort these other two? Well, like I said, this side is labeled as X and this side is labeled as 3X. So we know that this side is three times as long as the short side. So that means angle C is longer than this short side, right? So we know angle C goes here in the middle and then the shortest side over here is angle D, right? So then we'll put angle D as the shortest side. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.